The Truth About Butterflies by Maxwell Eaton III. These are butterflies. Butterflies are a type of colorful flying insect. Insect essentials. One pair of antenna, compound eyes, three pairs of jointed legs, three body segments, head, thorax, abdomen. There are more than 18,000 butterfly species. They live all over the world and come in countless shapes, sizes, and colors. Butterflies are known for their incredible wings. Along with flying and finding mates, each species uses its wings to avoid being eaten by larger predators like birds, snakes, frog, toads, and lizards. Camouflage helps butterflies blend in with their surroundings. Spots like big eyes may startle some predators. Fake antenna may lead predators to attack a less important part of the body. Bright colors serve as a warning. Tastier butterflies may just pretend to be toxic. Smaller predators like spiders, ants, wasps, and dragonflies aren't as easily fooled. Speaking of lookalikes, butterflies are closely related to moss, but there are some common differences. Bright colors, clubbed antenna, narrow body, rest with wings together over body, active during the day. The wings of both butterflies and moss are covered with millions of tiny scales. There may be as many as 125,000 scales in the square below. Dull colors, feathered antenna, robust body, rests with wings folded across back or out to sides, active at night. Most adult butterflies feed on nectar, a sugary liquid made by flowers. The butterfly uses its proboscis like a straw to slurp it up. Some butterflies sip liquids from tree wounds, decaying fruit, animal feces, poop, or rotting animals. Other useful parts. Antenna, used to smell, touch, and navigate. Compound eyes, hundreds of lenses in each eye, see color and ultraviolet light. Tarsi, or feet, used to taste. The proboscis curls up when not in use. Butterflies are agile and delicate, but they don't start life that way. They go through a process called metamorphosis, where their bodies transform as they grow. For all butterflies, it happens in four stages. Let's follow a monarch through the stages. Stage one, the egg, ovum. An adult female butterfly lays a fertilized egg on a plant that its young can eat. This monarch chooses a milkweed plant. A monarch female lays each egg individually, but will do this hundreds of times. Some eggs are laid on their own, some in groups. Most eggs hatch within five to 10 days. Then it's on to the next stage. Stage two, the caterpillar, larva. The egg hatches and out crawls a tiny caterpillar. This monarch caterpillar will spend the next two to three weeks eating milkweed leaves and growing. Molting. A caterpillar's skin, called the cuticle, doesn't stretch. In order to grow, the caterpillar makes a new larger skin under its old one. Then it crawls out of the old skin and eats it. This is called molting and happens up to five times during the larva stage. Caterpillars are soft and slow. So, like adult butterflies, they have a few tricks to avoid being eaten. After two to four weeks of nonstop eating, it's time for the caterpillar to molt one last time. Stage three, the chrysalis or pupa. The caterpillar will shed its skin once more, but this time under the cuticle is a hard case called the chrysalis. Here's how the monarch does it. I weave some silk to hang from while the chrysalis forms under my skin. 14 hours later, the chrysalis is ready and my skin splits open. I wiggle around until the skin falls to the ground. The chrysalis hardens and I'm a pupa. Hold my calls. Inside, the caterpillar's body liquefies, reorganizes, and grows into the final stage. Stage four, the adult butterfly. The final transformation. After 10 to 15 days inside the chrysalis, the newly formed adult butterfly is ready to emerge. This can take a few hours. The monarch chrysalis becomes clear the day before emerging. 
Chrysalis cracks open and butterfly crawls out, hangs upside down and pumps blood into crumpled wings. Fully expanded wings harden into final shape. The metamorphosis is complete. Now it's time for this female to lay eggs. But before she can lay eggs, our butterfly will need to find a mate. Luckily, male butterflies are on the lookout as well. They have two strategies for searching. Perching, I'll just sit here and see if anyone flies by. And patrolling, I'm gonna take a look around. Males also release odors called pheromones that help the female recognize its species and gender. A few hours after finding each other, the female flies off to lay eggs and the whole process starts over again. In many places, cold winters can interrupt this cycle. Some butterflies simply die with the freezing weather. Others survive the winter by hibernating like bears. Butterflies may spend the winter as adults or caterpillars or in chrysalis form, depending on the species. Monarchs avoid the cold altogether. Like many birds, they migrate and make long journeys south. Monarchs in the northeast of North America fly as far as 2,500 miles to a small area in the mountains of central Mexico. They group together or roost on oyemo fir trees where they do little but rest until spring when they journey back north to meet and lay eggs. Of course, there is one threat that butterflies can't escape no matter how far they fly. Humans are causing a decline in many species and causing others to go extinct. The good news is you can begin to help by learning more about butterflies, teaching others, and even giving butterflies a place to live. Creating a butterfly garden can be as simple as letting a piece of lawn grow wild with weeds. Another way to learn more and help is to raise wild butterflies from eggs or caterpillars. Here are the basics of raising monarchs from caterpillars. Start looking in a milkweed patch a week after seeing the first monarch of spring. The caterpillar is found. Cut the leaf it's on and place it in a clean plastic container. Cut a bunch of leaves to feed the caterpillar later. Place the container in a bright place but away from direct sunlight and cats. Once a day, remove the leaf with the caterpillar on it. Dump frass and old leaves. Add fresh leaves. Put the caterpillar back and snap on the lid. Collect fresh milkweed leaves as needed. The caterpillar will form a chrysalis on the lid within two weeks. In a week or two, the adult butterfly will emerge. Again, do not disturb. Once the butterfly starts to flutter its wings, a few hours after emerging, it's ready to be released. Well done, every butterfly counts. 